Ele já tem Covis, já tem quase que um lugar de sá, que é a Repin, a fotocopia vai vir, na passport sair da foto, o custo de caloço, a campanha de documentos de NHF, é necessário, a sua previsão. A letra de acceptance, a letra de CEO, caribou. As you have heard from our HR, I also want to echo what she has said. You are most welcome. And uh, feel free, feel at home. And uh, when we meet, of course, I've always said we are one family. Uh, I would want to believe you are our good ambassadors down there. And all the messages that goes down there, I want to believe they are in the right direction. Otherwise, it's just all the same that we have been saying. There's nothing new. It's more about structuring our, our regions, isn't it? And uh, I was just talking to our upper coast uh, officials and lower. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the lower coast region, I think, is not represented here. But I want to believe they will be among those who will be attending tomorrow's meeting. But what I was saying is this. There are people who are going to be part of us, of course, because we just asked for them to give us their details in terms of uh, academic papers, the positions they have been uh, allocated. But there are those uh, regions that we have not done the submission. You know we start with the submission, the confirmation, and then now to No, no, there are those processes to be followed, isn't it? Yes. Which ones? Because how can I will listen to them? your appointment led. Submission, confirmation. Do you know what I mean? Appointment. Yes. Yeah, so you realize that <coughs> Na kuna umejipata hapa and it's a privilege of course to be here na maybe, maybe one of those stages na ujafanya nini? But of course, because tuniangalia na tukajua, ikiwa wewe ni kiongozi wa region flag. Basi sasa wewe unaelewa wale watu wako unaongoza ni nani ula mbae una trust when it comes kwa kumeleta kwa mambo makuu ya organization. Sino kweli? So I want to believe for all of you who are here, usiwa umakuja leo as an observer. Because wakati tunakuweka kwa system kama mmoja wala mbao ni officials wa maana wa muhimu, alafu kesho nisikia hauko, huo umetrudisha nyumu. Na wengi ambao wako hapa na wale wengine hawako hapa, the truth of the matter is, HR amesema pale mambo ikiwa mzuri. And how we wish your mambo to give us a job, not even today. And that is why we are working day and night to make sure that we reach there. Sidiyo? Yes. Sasa wewe tunataka tufike pale, 
ukaikuja leo alafu kesho tunasikia tu umetoa jina lako look at now that process tumesonga mbele ama nikurudi nyuma so jiamini huo ya kwamba if you are here you are here for the good of all organization all right that is the only thing i would want to 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 request you people because we are really having those problems whereby unakuja unapata ya kwamba somebody insisted that i want to be part of the team that is going to nairobi or mombasa then after a week unasikia so and so amesema nini mimi naona ni kama siwezi so nitaomba wale ambao mko hapa tushikilie hapo because mahali tumefikia ni vile sometimes huwa wasemi huwa wanasema usiongelele ngoja ikuwe surprise sio lakini naona tunasonga kuna mahali tunaelekea so tusichoke penye tumetoka ndio mbali penye pamebaki ndio karibu so kwa hayo machache naomba endelee na kazi zangu ya kusaini na hapa lakini nawakaribisha nyinyi wote wengi walinijua vile ndugu amesema pale walinijua nikiwa Kenya nchata but of course at much as nilisonga kwa African Charter bado mimi ni mkenya ule tu kwa Kenya Charter and that is why most of the time we always find me with the bana sio hapa na all these other leaders tukisaidiana kuhusu mambo ya Kenya so usiokope kuni consult in any way ukitaka kujua anything to do with the skyward ati kwa sababu sasa nilienda wapi African Charter bado niko hapa na nyinyi na bado tutaendelea kusaidiana Asanteni na Mungu abariki. Asanteni wa Kenya. Bila muliambiwa kutoka mbali. Wengi wakisema ni scam. Nafikiri mtoto ya scam imeifa, imekwisha na imedet. Sasa tunaelekea kwenda kuvuna lile tumepanda. Siku karibu hiyo scam itaisha na association itasimama farm na tutapata mshahara. Sasa hizi tu watu ya bank walikuwa hapa kushukurikia mengi tutaambiwa na wenzangu waliokuwa walaimba juzi scam kesho watakuwa watawakimbiza wakitaka wapatie cheo lakini wakati hiyo haitakuwa vile ilikuwa mwanzo itakuwa ngumu kidogo maana ke lazima watapitia process ya employment vile ilikuwa ikiwa zamani ata apply afanye interview akaguliwe awachwe mwingine achukuliwe na yeye akae na scam yake ile wale wazuri mwende mbele usivunjike moyo imekaribia matunda imeiba kwa miti kuvuna tu na kukula karibuni tutakuwa pamoja na mengi tutaelezwa na matunda mazuri tukavuna karibu asante I have been thinking and contemplating on how come the soonest I have come to Skyworth. Hello? Yeah. Um, at times, Uh, with all no ones nikisikia wanaosema mimi nimekuwa kombi ya kakaba hello yeah lakini kama jinsi bibilia inasema walipo walikuwa kazini mtana ilikuwa moja i feel interested ya kwa ya, 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 ya kwamba umefagia kichaka umechibua umepanda na kwa kuna nani I owe you a lot of revision of familiar one aka kujitolea mzaji jeremia hapa ananiambia jinsi hiyo kazi yote inaenda mkamuni but let me give you now something positive to be proud of that within the sky world infrastructure and history will be in the history books that are about me 
On one thing, it's very sweet. It's your terms of engagement and employment. Hello? Yeah. What about once you turn the page? In our view, do you have any? Amen. Yes, you have to Hello? You are the custodian and the stewardship of your life. Ujilelea kule tufanya kazi nawe au ufutwe mapema God of God for me Any one of us Anthony Numa May feel May feel May feel May the secretary, secretary and director of African Charter. And uh, I'm the one who is heading the secretariat team in HQ. Si tuongea mengi sana, lakini leo ni tuongea kuhusu the secretariat team. We have worked tirelessly. Sisi secretariat. Sisi ndo tumekuwa tuki andika barua zenyu katika counties. And for real, it has not been easy for us. Kwa sababu, many a times, watu kutoka huko katika counties mwume tupatia wrong IDs, wrong names. And then when it comes, kwa tu sisi kuandika the appointment letter, inajikuta kwamba, mukipewa hizo mabarua, muna turudishia. Muna sema kwamba, tuliandika majina vibaya, tulieka ID vibaya. It has not been easy for us. Because many a times to mearibu mabalua mengi sana. Kwa sababu ya hizo few mistakes that we have been having as the secretariat team ya makaratasi, ya kuaribu makaratasi kwa sababu ya ID na kwa sababu ya majina. Team yangu tumuafanya kazi kusemu kweni usiku na mchana. And mutue anyone of you ambaya napata barua, mutue muna pata barua kwa sababu ya team ya secretariat. Without secretariat, hamunge kuwa na barua siku ya leo. How? Ndiyo wamefanya BD. Kukakikisha kuamba ati katika kila county, watapata barua zao za employment letters. Now, zilangu ni kuwauliza, if at all mumetishwa majina kutoka huko counties concerning your names, your IDs, whatever ambao tunanidu kumekishua ati kuamba your appointment letters mumepata kindly tunawaomba. Mutupatie the right names, the right ID the right positions because unakuta kwamba tunapewa hata mtu mmoja and tunakuta hilo jina tumepewa majina mara mbili in a held two different positions sasa inakuta kwamba the secretariat inashindwa who is who huyu huyu ameshika position ya managing director wako wawili in the same world sasa unaona tunapitia shida ngumu sana as the secretariat and at the end of the day unakuta kuharibu hizi makaratasi inakuta inadirudia kwetu. Sasa umilangu ni kwamba, wewa uko hapa kama director, ati kwamba karatasi yoyote ambayo itaribika, kupitia njini madirector, kupitia njini ambayo umetupatia majina, na tuangalia kabisa tukute kwamba, hii ID niyo mulitupatia, ata kama ni wrong, ni njini mulitupatia. Kama ni jina, ni njini mulitupatia, lakini ikakuwa ni wrong. Tafadhali ni na... Nina waomba tu na nina naomba munisameni kwamba mutagaramika kwa sababu ya hayo makarata sitena. Kwa sababu, right now ata tukienda, makaratasi yale tumearibu, the abundance of makaratasi. And then ukiambia the director concerning hizo makaratasi zimearibika, somebody anaraise voice yake. Siku penda ni kwa sababu muna tufanyisha kazi over and over and over again. So, mimi ni na waomba. Sekretariat wamefanya kazi kusemo kweli. Na ni na wapongeza sana. Kwa sababu wamejitoa. Kwa sababu yenye. Kuona kila moja yenye wamepata employment letter yake. Na yeye ni mfanyi kazi katika Skyboard. If at all hawezi, hautaweza, hautaweza kutupatia majina mazuri. Then, make sure umeenda pale kwa ground. Ume confirm the names. 
Ukiconfirm the names ndio ututumie. Lakini kile ninawaambia ni kwamba kuanzia leo ukituma majina yako wrong, ukituma ID yako wrong, you as the director na wale wametupatia majina from the county lazima mtagaramika. Lazima mtagaramika mpende mzipende kwa sababu hatuwezi kwa tuna shida kazi ya ku print makaratasi tuna print makaratasi. Na unajua hiyo appointment letter inabeba makaratasi sita. Sita, six. So you can imagine tukiharibu makaratasi sita, sita, sita za watu 50 hizo ni makaratasi zinakaaje. So it's my prayer at kwamba majina zile mtatupatia na ID mtakuwa mmeconfirm na mme verify kabisa hayo ndio majina mnataka. But so far the secretariat wako ready kufanyia kazi eh, kufanyia kazi kaunti zote wako ready kufanya jukumu lote lile wanaweza ndipo sampate appointment letter zenu tumetoka mbali na hiki tu tumetoka mbali and i know we are going far gari already imeguruma hmm? you know your attitude it depend it attitude yako it, it, your day it will depend on your attitude your attitude towards viongozi your attitude towards this institution hiyo ndio itamake siku yako vile itakuwa it's a call it's a call I hope kila mmoja wenyu wengi wenyu mmetoka safari za mbali mmekuja na ninajua ndani yenu mko na hule mwiro mwito kwamba ati mmekuja kufanyia the community. Kazi ya community haitaki kusukumwa. Kazi ya community it's not in fact it's not all about money. It's about the service to the Kenyans. So it is my prayer kwamba tutafanya kazi pamoja tutafanya kazi na na watu wote wa kila county na hatutabagua yoyote kila mtu katika skywalk is somebody haitalishi uko pale chini haitalishi uko wapi you are somebody to us you are somebody to the secretariat team in and whatever question you have kulingana na mambo na kuhusu mambo na appointment letters sisi we are ready to answer you mkiwa na itilafu huko katika counties concerning the the appointment letters kindly tunawakaribisha mtuulize whatever you you want concerning hizo majina appointment letters and if at all kuna jambo sisi kama secretary tatutaweza tuta will be hand over to the bosses above us so nawashukuru nini nyote kwa kukuja huku HQ na ninawashukuru kwa kujitolea nawashukuru pia kwa safari ndefu na tunashukuru pia Mungu kwa kuwaleta kutoka kule mlikuwa wengine wametoka Mombasa na wamefika salama so tunashukuru Mungu langu ni kuambia kwamba tushikane pamoja na kusema kweli tutaenda pale kwa sababu tukitengana kusema kweli tutakuwa wadhaifu lakini tukiwa pamoja tutaenda pale asante <laughs> Tuwajilishe tena, naituwa Mary, Jiro Tumo, na nimi ndio nasimamia hiyo docket ya policies za kambuni. I don't know where to start because the topic is very broad, very very broad, but first and foremost, I want to congratulate each one of us for building ourselves for this meeting today. Uh, I know nobody has been paid for fear. It has been a commitment all through, isn't it? Uh, normally when an organization is coming up, the pioneers bring it up. So we have always said that. Uyu ni mtoto wetu, lazima tumle, paka afike pahari tunataka ni kwenu. Na waswahili walisema, if you walk alone, you need to go, very fast. Kitimbea peke yako utakimbia sana. But if you walk with others, naendaji kangao? Badi sana. So this calls us to be a team that we have been so that we get to go the far that we need to be. We are a team and we kushikiriana. We kushikiria this vision until the end. Isn't it? So I've been told to talk about uh, the policies. As I've said, we have hundreds and hundreds of policies that we shall take at the end of the day. Na zingine ni za viongozi, zingine ni za watu wote. Kwa mfano, tukona viongozi sahili, wanatushugulikia sana. Let's take an example of the secretariat. Those young people, 
they are all over the counties every day doing very many things for the sake of us all, isn't it? So, I want to, to say, hakuna mtu anawaruga mshahara kwa sasa. Yeah? Most of them wanatoa kwa mfuko. Na, itafika bahali, labda hata mtu wapate ajari. Sindio? Sasa ukiangalia uyo mtu wamepata ajari ya kienda nyandaro. Uyo mtu haendi biashara zake ni kweli. Haendi kazi ya familia yake ni kweli. Na meumia. Uyo mtu wameumia nani. Uyo mtu atashugulikiwa ata, ata na nani. He's not, he has not gone for his own business. Naomba napo kupatia karatasi hili. Usianza kusoma. Mwanzo subiria musikize. Napo kusubiria wengine manake. Nukungo kwa manita. Yeah, so they have not gone for their businesses. They are not doing their family businesses. They are doing the community business, isn't it? So that person is supposed to be taken care of by the organization. So that in case of any eventuality along the way, these people can be easily compensated. I know there is a way we cannot compensate a human being in total, but at least there will be a token of uh, recognition or appreciation. Now, I'm checking those who are reading. <laughs> Incidentally, I have been a teacher in the past, so I know the things that are going on. Yeah, that's what I can be able to tell them. So, there will be a compensation or a consideration. When we look at our accounts, or even our senior staff, the CEO, the president, and the like, soon and very soon, what we are going to do is billion. People will start chasing after those people. Is it true? And maybe even they don't have it. So you will realize that that person can easily be tricked. They can easily be harmed just because of a community, isn't it? Mm. So the things we do is just to take care of any eventuality that can take place. And it does take place. So we do fanyika, sindio? And it can take place, it can happen to anyone. So we safeguard our people, we safeguard ourselves for any eventuality that can occur. Is that okay? That is what policies of insurance do. We do very many other things, or we'll be doing things we call investment. Labda, tutakuwa na pesa ya kakuni, ya nyeimewekwa kwa hadi, na haifajidi kazi. We have several investment instruments. We call them instruments. So that hizo pesa zinachukuliwa, zinaigezo kwa hadi, zinaza. Zingine zinaza kila siku, zingine kwa mwezi, zingine tunafix a longer period of time at a higher interest. That is also another area that I'll be taking care of. Tuko na policy nyingi kama za wafanyikazi. Serikari ya Kenya ikona kimizo ya kwamba. Anybody employed must be insured against what? Who knows? Incidentally, I've been a teacher. I ask questions. Yes? Health. Not health. Health is not mandatory. That's good. We call it Work Benefit Injury Act. It is an act of parliament. So every employee is supposed to have a policy called WIBA. We shorten it WIBA. So that in case you are injured when you are at your workplace or due to an activity of work, you are compensated. So those among very many others, personal accident, there are very many, medical as we have said, there are several organizations will cater their employees for medical insurances depending on their categories of at work, at the workplace. So since this time is coming, and it is coming very soon, isn't it? We will sit down with the board, we will categorize the staffs, and our members and our people, we look at even our customers or our clients, Mashinani Uko. We will have a lot of insurances because it will reach a point when we'll be giving them to the court to pay a pesa. Sindio? We mutu na mpia pesa aweke kibada ya mboga. Ametukua ni kama tuseme ni loo. We mutu akifa, how do we recover our money? 
Tulimpea weke biashara ndiyo, alipange pole pole, that is a cooperative system. This is saving and credit, which is part of our pillars. So, amweka kweli kibanda hii ya mboga, ama a factory even, kusema hii factory yake ishe maramoja, where do we get our money, and maybe he dies. So, there are so many things that we shall bring about, and maybe we can't go through them at a glance, we will be facing them with time, and I will also bring some experts who will be training us, plus myself, so that we get to know where we are heading to, because we are going far. God bless you. God take care of you. Kwa mda mrefu kidogo kuliko wao wote, mwanzo na wasalimu wa mjamu. Good evening, or good afternoon. Mimi niwesema nda chukwa mda mrefu kiasi. Anaki nataka ni kuwele mishe, nataka tuwele wane, nataka tukaeza kuambatana. Mwanzo kabisa, mimi nitaanza kwa kukosua, mawili ama matatu. It demoralizes. When one repeats 1.45 times, especially kwa nyinyi ambao tumetembea na nyinyi for a longer period. Hello? Hello? Tunapatana? Manake, kama jinsi ambavyo Stanley amesema, kuna kusonga mbele na kufanya nini? Rudi nyuma. Mahali tumefika, kabisa haturudi nyuma. Wewe ambayo unezapenda kuhudi nyuma, basu mepitua na majira na wakati. Manake sisi wenda tutashindwa jinsi ya kukurudia huko nyuma, kule ambako unataka kubaki. Mana wakenya ni wengi, wale ambao kwa mba sisi wanatusubiria. Majukumu nao ndio hayo pia, ya natusubiria sisi pia. Kuna madhumuni na lengo. Mana ke lengo la kwanza ni kufikia inchi yetu nzima, kwa matawi yetu yote katika county zote arubaine na sabu. Lakini kwa sababu tumesha zigawa Na by the way Ningia kuja ndiyo ujua tumegawa aje Mano unasikia tumegawa Sindio? Daka moja tu I was still in numbers, numbers, and the thing is best. I will come before you, brief you with him as my wife, and we direct you as you said, left. I was still in the United States, I was still in the United States, and I was still in the name of social development, and I know very commitment to involving the well-being of our communities and housekeeping has been a driving force behind our organization as a worker for this time. We have dedicated ourselves to addressing the crucial issues uh, that plague our society, recognizing the agriculture, livestock, housing, business circles, revolving farm, environmental and the climate changes, and core areas where we can make a profound impact on the lives of our livelihoods, individuals, families, and the entire communities. Through our sustainable and innovative public practice, we strive to create lasting change, collaborations, transparency, and inclusivity as the cornerstone of our approach. We understand that creating lasting change requires the collective effort of all the stakeholders, together with government bodies, local communities, partners, volunteers, we will foster partnership and collaborations that will amplify our impact and extend the reach of our programs. Our visions extend far beyond the present moment. We aim to gradually entrench ourselves in all the 47 counties of Kenya, a strategic move that will allow us to engage with diverse communities, understand their unique, unique challenges, and to tailor our initiatives to meet their specific needs. We are thrilled to announce that we have already made significant progress in establishing our presence across the country. Our offices in Mombasa, Nairobi, are fully operational. While Andrew, Kiambu, Gariza, Embu, Gariza, and Meru are in the process of renovation and polishing. 
to tell me about us, and also we're going for McQueen, Kitui, and the Nara. Uh, there are certain structures and family in place in these regions, and then we have conducted a thorough mobilization and recruitment drive. Through a prayer selection processes, we have identified trustworthy, honest account signatories in piloting counties, and we look forward to opening all organization accounts within this week. We remain committed to collaborating with the government of Kenya throughout our projects, serving voluntary members of, the, of society and adhering to the rules of law and the position of Kenya. Our journey has been marked by both challenges and terms, but through it all, our unwavering dedication to our mission has kept us going. We are confident that with your continued support and collaborations, we will continue to make a meaningful difference in the lives of the countless Kenyans. Let us all commit ourselves to working together to create a, bit, a, a brighter future for our nation. Together we can build a society where everyone has the opportunity to thrive and reach their full potential. Thank you all for your continued maximum support. Thank you, sir. So thank you very much. I know there are a lot of challenges here and there. But Alhamdulillah today we are okay, we have a very good spirit, we are in good place, we have offices we, that we can operate from, we have, uh, we want to open our account now, so far we have already identified our signatures. It's only a matter of making it approval them, so that they go to the bank and sign the accounts. So everything is coming to shape, let's try our best, let's do our best, let's be committed, to make sure that the sky was fully operational. So, thank you for all of you coming and uh, coming here to, today to witness this occasion. So I'm very sure you will be together today and tomorrow, and the day after. We will be fully down with the accounts and everything. Thereby, I think the sky was operational will be fully operational. So, I want to welcome you once again and thank you for coming and having your time to come to this occasion. Thank you very much. Mwanzo ni mwakaribisha dhuhuri ya mchana wa Loham Jambu. Mimi sitasema kama HR amewaongelesha akawa akawa bye bye manake ni kama kwamba mtaonana. HR these people are here to stay because tomorrow they are supposed to be here. The day after wale ambao kufunguliwa account zao za salary zitafunguliwa hapa hapa. So we uh, tuko na we have a journey to go. Hello. Yes. We have a mwambie jirani yako. Mimi sipendi kuona viongozi ambao wanataka. Watu changamuke bwana. Unajua tumekani kama tunapojia cafe. Unajua uko kwa clinic. Hakuna mtu ongea na mwingine, mtu anasikiza hapo. Eh. Maana unajua kiingia uko kwa daktari inakuanga swali ni moja. Unasikia nini? Ni wapi panasumbua? Ni hapa, ni hapa. Sasa <laughs> kile ambacho nataka kusema hivi uh, we have a long way to go together and i know that we are going to succeed together sawa sawa yes. so nimeanza kusema tumeshagawa county zote 47 we have zoned them maana tunapoongea kuhusu uh, kuhusu sasa the donors ama wenye skyward capital kutoka umarikani kutoka kule Saudi kutoka kule um, 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 Asia na sehemu zingine na Europa uh, walisema kwamba wangependa kujumuisha inapofika ni hii kazi mwanzo kabisa nataka kukuelemisha hivi sio kuanza tumeanza nafikiri umesikia executive chairman Karanja amesema anajionea huruma na anashangaa maana kuna wale walikuwa mbele ama mkusikia kisema hii lakini shida iliyofanyika ni moja tulipata uongozi mbaya tukapata usimamizi mbaya tukapata watu waliojipenda hawakupenda wengine tukapata wengine waliagua waislamu wakabaki samahani wa Kristo jamani msinigoje nikitoka hapa tena mnanianza tena maswala mengine hakuna cha maswala lakini tuambiane tu hapa si ni kweli hivi kwamba wale waliosimamia akiongoza bishop Julius Kidome ambaye alikuwa televise uh, bishop kwa matv saa yote eh? 
yeye ni mmoja kati ya wale waliovunja kanuni sheria na hata uh, miungo ya kazi naposema miungo ya kazi natumai unanipata yani mikataba inaofanya kazi kaitwa kazi alivunja vunja yote akafanya vile alitaka akaweka watu wa kwake akaleta jamii yake yote akaweka wakristu wote sehemu za waislamu zote akamuoa akabaki ni yeye kwa ajili ya neno mimi naongea na wewe bwana boss wewe kwa hapo naongea kuhusu nini pesa pesa usicheze naye especially kama hauna maono haukuisikia ni mwito kutoka kwa Mungu maana yake hii kazi huiezi pasipo kuongozwa na Allah <laughs> nataka tupatane sote dada unanipata eh yeah? kiongozi wa garisa unanipata bila Allah kuwa amekusaidia hauwezi <coughs> hauwezi maana yake kazi ya, ya jamii ni ngumu ndio hiyo 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 ambayo imetesa serikali ndio hiyo hiyo ambayo serikali atakingangana jamii hayoni wamengangana wako pale bado kusema <coughs> ni serikali haijali lakini serikali inajali maana hakuna taifa inaweza kujimudu na inaweza kusimama pasipo serikali napenda uambie jirani yako kwa wacha kuogopa huyu bwana muambie hakuna nchi inaweza kushikamili na isonge pasipo serikali lazima serikali ikakuwa hata sisi wenyewe kupata cheti mwanzo hebu sikiza pengine umekuwa ukijivunia lakini ujue unajivunia nini mwanzo wewe ni sehemu ya serikali hebu <laughs> sio wewe ni one of them <laughs> kama hukujua acha tu nikwambie mapema cheti ni cha serikali cheti si cheti ni cha serikali jambo la pili wewe umepewa tu fursa nafasi ufanye yanayokupaswa kama jinsi ambavyo mumekuwa registered ama jinsi mumefanywa nini kusajilishwa tunapatana vizuri huyu yes. akusikia hebu ndugu ambie huyu pia akusikia alikuwa ameanza kulala <laughs> niliwaambia mimi ndachukua muda mrefu kidogo na wewe maana yake ukishasajilishwa unapaswa sasa uenende kulingana na zile sheria kanuni na miungo hiyo ya kazi miungo ya kazi ni kama nini tunapaswa tuwakumbuke wajane wale watoto yatima tuko na wazee wakongwe tuko na jamii ambazo zimesambaratika tuko na hizo sehemu arid and semi arid tuko na watu ambao kwamba garika ikija ile mvua ya masika basi unabaki nchi hakuna kama kule kwetu Garissa Wajia isio kunaleta msongomano mambo inaenda stand still kama Garissa ni mmoja wa kuumia ikinyesha inyesha ya masika sasa watu <laughs> inabidi kwamba viongozi wa watu wetu hawajali kunyeshewa sasa heri ya nyeshewe lakini aone maji yanatoka hapo na gani maana ikikuja inabeba kila kitu na inaenda naye na una ubaya wa maji haina sori si hata mwajua hivyo ina nguvu kuliko roi hata watu huko narok niliona narok wanastukianga ni maji na watu wameanza kubebwa na vitu zimengolewa <coughs> eh si ni ni hapa niliona narok eh mali niliona narok eh na wakasema kwamba inaanza wanasikianga mgurumo bu 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 mtu akifikiria ni nderemo anastukia ndio hii na ina mbio kuliko kasi ya mtu ambaye amekula chakula shida kwetu sisi waliofunga <laughs> sasa ukisema tutoke mbio jamani atutoki maana <laughs> hatuna nguvu ya kukimbia saa hii eh, watu wako kwenye dua sasa lakini wale ambao wamekula hata kama kama kinywa tumekula vizuri jamani baadhi ya maji itakupita <laughs> huja kwa kasi sana Sumunajua hivyo. So, hayo ndio pati ya nini? Miungo ya kazi. Kuna mambo ya vijana. Kuna mambo ya wale ambao kwamba wanaugua, wana ukimwi. Hapa kwetu sisi hata wale wamejitambulisha manake tuko na after care. After care inajali hao, hao, hao. Hao ambao kwamba wamefanya uh, kutengwa na jamii. Eh huyu ana maradhi sijui gani. <laughs> na jamani usicheze na maradhi. Jana nikiongea mahali niliambia kiongozi mmoja usikuwe kama wale watu wanakuangwa wamekaa katika maeneo fulani ya huko kwao. Kidogo wanaona watu wamekuja na kamera na vitu kama kamera hii ambao kwamba ni za kupima barabara. 
wanaona tu gari me, vitu zinashukishwa tu zinashushwa tu zinashushwa tu kidogo kuna tuchuma mtu anakatakata tuchuma twingi wanasonga hata karibu kuangalia ni mimi naendelea ni tuchuma tu tunakatakatwa watu wako na, na, na nyundo nyingi nyingi sana sasa ule anapima anaangalia anamwambia songa hivi huyu <laughs> unaye na ni mwananchi tu wa kawaida anaona songa hivi inalenga mali nyumba yake iko kuja <laughs> mpio anamwambia wewe bwana Umesema songa hivi na hii nyumba hii hapa. Sasa si sasa siturudi hivi hivi. Umesema songa songa. Mshenda mali barabara inakatwa. Huwa kuna visirani vya ajabu sana. Maana hata ikatiki hiyo uh, siku haitapimwa ishe. Maana kuna mmoja amepima nyumba ya yeye ya CEO anatulia vya. Sio mtu anakuja mpaka hapo. Mwingine amebeba kitu kama dumu. Anaanza kuchora eh, X <laughs> Demolition. <laughs> Sasa ule anaenda sio anamwambia wewe mimi ni CEO hapa ni kwangu. Songa. <laughs> Usiwe. Lakini shida ya, ya barabara ikishapimwa kama imelenga nyumba yako inapita na nyumba hawajui Awa, kusongesha maana inaeka mraba na kukata na kuanza tinga tinga kupita huko katikati na barabara inatoka. So nasi pia tuko hivyo hivyo kama barabara. Matatizo ni iwe kwamba yule ambaye mmempa hiyo kazi. Maana sasa hapa ndio shida ipo. Sio niambia watu wapo mahali shida yetu ipo. Serikali imekukubali. Kazi umepata. Wewe ulipoisikia ukaambia mwingine, mwenzio uliyemwambia, yeye hakuichukulia maanani. Yalichukulia yeye ni ajira anataka isikia kwa nini? Kwa mifuko. Hiyo tu peke yake. Lakini mambo na wito, mambo na kuweka madhumuni, mambo na kujua ameitiwa fanye nini, hiyo sio hoja kwake. Hiyo hoja yake ni nini? Sio wacha kuogopa kusema pesa jisitoi yako kwa mfuko. <laughs> hoja huyu mtu ni nini? Pesa. Lakini madhumuni ya hiyo kazi hakuna na huyu mtu ndio ulimfanya akakuwa director he katika region yako mwanzo hata mkitana mkutano hakuji yana sawa mimi nataka kujua hiyo siku watu wanaanza kuja kusign ameanza kazi ndio mshahara itoke hiyo tu ndio kwa nini kwa fikra zake hivi nataka kumaanishaje natumai kwamba wale wote mmehusisha kwa kazi zetu hivyo kwa kazi zenu kule kwa region ni mtu ambaye amebeba mzigo wa maeneo hayo. Na ndio maana kwamba tukiweko katika ugatuzi na serikali hivi, hauwezi kumtoa mtu nyanza umpeleke Garissa. Tunaelewana? Maana yake cohesion authority, eh? Na nini nyingine kama mnajua? Kuna hizo demarcation za nini? Boundaries and hairuhusu hairuhusu hiyo ni sheria iko leo kwamba tu mtu muranga umpeleke Mombasa hakuna hiyo ilikuwa kwa nyakati za zamani na imeshapitwa na wakati sasa ni hao wa Garissa hao hao si kuna watu wamesoma Garissa hao hao wa Garissa wachukuliwe wao wapo hizo kazi naona ndugu amesikia vizuri mpaka amefanya hivi kidogo ni mimi nani Mohamed Mohamed I wish kamera ilikuwa imekuangalia kwamba ni Garissa kama mimi Ugatuzi inasema tukupe kazi kulingana na sehemu yako ile umetoka Kwa hiyo hakuna vile ambavyo kwamba utaweza kuingia kitui umlete mtu wa taita umweke kitui na wa kitui aende wapi na hayo ndiyo maeneo yake Machakos. Hayo ndiyo maeneo yake Narok. Hayo ndiyo maeneo yake Meru. Hayo ndiyo maeneo ya huyu mtu eh, katika kazi taita kule hapa coast ambapo ndiyo Lamu na sehemu zingine. Sasa umemweka mwingine pale ndiyo nini fanyike. So unakuta lazima tuweke balance katika kazi zetu. Na ni lazima tuwe na shauku ya kuchunga na kuangalia ukatuzi wa hii wa hii kazi utafanywa kwa njia gani napatana. Sasa mimi nilipotoka Marekani nikaletwa, mwanzo nikuu Marekani, maana yake mimi nilikuwa nakaa Phoenix. 
nilipoambiwa mimi narudishwa Kenya mwanzo kidogo nilishtuka samahani uh, manake haikuwa <coughs> mzuri nikafuata wakubwa huko wao nafikiri watu ndio pekee yako nafuata wakubwa hapa <coughs> nikawafuata haraka haraka nikauliza ule alikuwa kwa next to the authority under the board of uh, directors Nixon nikamuza sir Nixon is there a possibility you pick on someone else can I my friend I can't say anything these are the resolution this is the memo and this is the decision and the letter to the same effecting that you should go mimi nikatoka sikuweza kukula pizza sikuweza kukunywa nikapiga kwa nyumba nimekaa <coughs> nina kijana machachari mae makitinda mimba wangu ni machachari sana na uno na mimi watoto wangu wote nimezaa huko sasa <coughs> akaniambia <coughs> uh, baba is all things working well man <coughs> sasa nikashindwa hii kijana kama nimwambie what is working and what is happening huyu uh, hata nisaidia nikamwacha nikakutwa na mamangu akaniuliza boss shida ni nini nimeambiwa na vijana uh, kuna matatizo nikamwambia kuna matatizo ni kazi tu eh, kazi imenirudisha Kenya mama akasema si nilikwambia uache hii kazi ya hawa watu obviously wacha ni kueleze leo <laughs> usi expect all to be positive na hata na mama na baba usi expect all to be positive na husband ama wife usi expect all to be positive hata na jirani ama ndugu ama dada Mama mwenye kuniza akaniambia ni ili kuona. Nikakwambia wewe hao watu wachana nao. Wengi ndio wazungu. Wengine ni warabu. Wewe sasa boss. Umeambiwa rudi eh. Na sio walikuleta America. <laughs> ah jamani ingine ina, ina, ina ni kali sana. Anaambia si wao walikuleta. Sasa basi aruo kwa hiyo kazi uendelee na maisha kwa Marekani. Nikamwambia mama hapana. Nilitumikia serikali ya Marekani vile ilivyopaswa nilikula kiapo nilipokuwa natoka na nikaeka kiapo na Mwenyezi Mungu wala kwamba nitafanya mpaka kifo kazi ya jamii kwa hivyo mama mimi naenda kwa sababu ya jamii siendi kwa sababu ya mwanzo alinileta ama wakunileta naenda kwa sababu ni kazi tunapatana viongozi siku ya kwenda kwa airport na masanduku zangu nilipata watu wachache sana. Kumbuka nimeishi Marekani miaka karibu uh, 36. I've been in the states. So Marekani na mimi eh <coughs> sijui ndasemaje ndio niseme ni, ni macho na masikio. Maana kule nimekulia, kule nimezekea, kule nikakaa, kule nikatoka nikarudi. So hivi kwamba viongozi nataka kusemaje? Kama sio wito singetoka. So nilipofika Kumbuka kwamba na ni nini nataka nikuelemeshe wewe. Nilipokuwa bado ni ngali kule tumekuwa na mikutano mingi sana in supplementing finances to this country. Ingine ni haibu sana viongozi maana zile pesa zilizohusisha Kenya ni ngali nikiwa kule they were not lesser than 1.2 trillion. Unaona? Hata hizi pesa honestly speaking hazikuguza mwananchi wa kawaida. So wale waliopeana kazi waka profit no 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 uh, kazi kubwa kubwa hao walikuwa nagawana pesa venye wanajuana. Siji unanipata vizuri? Yes. Wewe unanipata? Kabisa. Yes. Awe kama unanipata acha nikae sio hawatu. Kama kuna mtu na rabu shoda na yeye na ni mkubwa na ndiye anakupea pesa ile kubwa maana ni vile mnafanya nini mnajuana mayatima waliendelea tu kwa yatima tu wale waliokuwa na shida waliendelea kusombwa na shida zao so nilipofika mwanzo kabla sija assume to the office i needed to know a number of few things that regarded the office what they had done what they had not done so in the process nikakuta kuna alarms financial alarms Hakuna kitu kinaandamana na kingine na hakuna rekodi na hakuna report. So nikadimand. In the process ya kudimand, 
Nikao na Itoshi, nika approach police. Kambia police kuna shida. Mimi nimerudishwa ofisi hii hapa na kuna pesa zina regard uh, nchi yetu na shirika. <coughs> na hivi venye ninavyozungumza zile pesa hazijafanya kazi yake hakuna rekodi hakuna ripoti. Na wahusishwa wa hizo pesa na wajua. Nataka watu wasombwe ndani. Tusonona sio watu wako mengiangalia vibaya mpaka kamera yako ananiangalia mimi niangalia vibaya. <coughs> Mataquizo <laughs> Hakikisha kazi uliyowekwa ufanye umefanya nini? Umeifanya. Tunaelewana eh? Yes. Sasa kama haukufanya, pesa umeshatia mfukoni. Zingine umenunua Range Rover, umenunua V8. Sijui manyumba wapi? Sijui runda, sijui wapi mudhaika. Boss. Kweli kusema kweli imefaidi inchi na nini? Ha? Imefaidi hao wanapaswa wasaidiwe na nini? Hao watu walipaswa kuwa wote ndani wakaanza kushikwa moja kwa moja <laughs> wakaekwa watu kama 19 ndani wale walikuwa kwa authoritative to money and other things in this what i mean hebu nimesikia umesema wewe ni garisa hebu simama yes. you are in charge of what in garisa Nani mwingine kwa hapa ako katika in the line of finances? Hebu simama tu. Naomba usimame juu hivi. Venye nimesimama. Wewe Harun, oh hii ndio national treasurer ya ya CEO kwa bodi yake. Jamaa unaona venye uko round round. Hapa ndipo matatizo ilianza boss. Hapo Brian ndio mahali matatizo ilianza. Hao watu ndio wale ambao walitekeleza inchi bwana. Waliumiza, walinyonga, wakaendeleza kwa numa sikini ukaendelea kusonga watu. Asante ni kaeli. Sijasema ni hivyo walivyo. Lakini nataka kueleza hivi. Baadhi ya waliohusika kwa pesa ndio baadhi ya waliochukuliwa wote wengi. Juzi sio kiongea na bosi yake Abdul Kadir. Ambaye sasa by the way Abdul Kadir nikiwa town amenieleza uh, kwamba wamebakisha visa za watu 29. Watu wadikelea kuingia Kenya na wanakuja miezi tatu kukaa na CEO wenu. Waone hizi pesa sio atagawa aje waone kazi itafanyika aje so ule mtu nahurumia saa hii na niko na jua na ni ini mara yangu ya tatu namwambia namuombea sio kwa sababu <laughs> unajua ukiwa na bosi yako ana monitor wewe ata close hii <coughs> si kwamba ti ameenda hakuna hakuna report na float a a ako hapo anaona kama unafanya anahesabu ukihesabu mahali shilingi hakuna yani hakuna kugoja kesho na kuulizia wapi <coughs> hii shilingi iko wapi Unaona hiyo ni ni demoralization kali sana. Manake yeye hapo pale na anaifahamu hiyo pesa. Mkumbuke Abdul Kadir has served Africa Africa continent as a, in charge of finance. Uh, kwa miaka 20 na eh, about 29 years. So ako na experience ya ya, ya ndani si mlimuona wana walimuona last time. Si mliona ni babu sio kijana experience ile imejaa kwa huyo huyo mtu wa Mungu kwa kichwa ni kubwa sana not on counting people but what money anaweza kueleza solidly money hii pesa tumetoa hapa na hapa kuna udanganyifu hapa na hapa kuna haki maana kuna hiyo experience ameambia juzi CEO anataka malizane na account amweke pesa akikuja anataka aone kazi nikastuka nikaangalia sio nikasema na moyo why wewe ndio sio eh umeambiwa hii eh haya <laughs> wacha basi Mwenyezi Mungu akupatie nguvu ya kuwezeshe kwa sababu kweli atakuwa maana eh mimi ninajua atakuwa maana sio vilivyo na sio lazima atatoa hesabu yenu na wengine imefanya nini 
na unajua ubaya wa sisi wa islamu ni nini ukiwa umetoa pesa ama ile ile sadaka imetolewa kwa sababu ya kufikia mtu fulani ambaye yako kwa shida eh hey, jamani record mpaka utatoa hakuna ti kusema ati Mungu atatu atakusaidia ah ah ni record uwekelee wapi kwa meza eh hey, hii ilifanya ili na ndio nakuta kwamba waislamu mara mingi wanaumia sana kuhakikisha haki imefanyika na sisemwe mkristo ni mbaya kinyo acha kuniangalia kuumauma uh, ino limbi yako mimi sina shida na wewe boss it is not personal but uh, kuna tofauti kidogo ya muislamu anacho kumweka this is the first time in africa we have been given an islam ceo you can imagine for the last many years it has been in between christians 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 na wengi ndio walinunua hizo range rover eh? back left <laughs> Vieti zo kwenda huko Runda. Nyumba <laughs> kubwa kubwa mtu ana kuna ule aliyekuwa wa mwisho alijilipa mshahara wa 17.8 million. Hmm? Wa mwisho. Na ni huyo 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 kidhome. Ile pesa alijilipa tu. Wale walimjua simulijua huko huko na Vieti Vieti na ndikurusa na ndikurusa Mercedes eh? yeah. Na hizo zote endeshi wakati moja. You know you can't own of a you know big cars kama kumi na utaendesha zote at once inaonyesha hao wewe sio mtu stable na mtu wa kuaminika yule ndugu alienda na magari za kila aina hata tukiwa uko kwa yeye akota kinichukua ali make sure kuna motorcade kids zinakimbia na mimi nikaenda nikihesabu hizo magari <laughs> na nilipofikishwa <laughs> nikasema na moyo eh, kweli huyu ndio tumefanyia kazi hiyo miaka yote umarikani ndio akae vizuri Kenya <laughs> maana zile gari ni hesabu ni hesabu 19 cars ati mtu mmoja huyu ni mmoja wakati wa kumalizwa huyu hebu simama this one this is a victim of that man walitumwa kufanya kazi we kajado in kajado pesa ikatoka wakagawana na wengine au wakawacho mstuni wakaumia mpaka tamacho karibu inapotea kati juu ya hasira <laughs> Jeremia huyo naye ni mwingine pia <laughs> baada alikuwa in charge of nyandaru watu na yeye huyu hebu nataka kibeti <laughs> wote ni kuonyesha vile alikuwa anafanya <laughs> huyu huyu ndio alibeba mkopa wa pesa zote huyu ndiye alizindikisha bishop akuwe bilionea nimetoa <laughs> mfuko na dakika ya mwisho akatupwa nje dakika ya mwisho akafanywa nini akatupwa nje huyu hapa mnaona ndiye alikuwa amefanywa kwa board council ya executive na alizibeba muulizeni aliziona isipokuwa kila alibeba na tumbo Eh? Na shukuru alijivunia unaona hiyo mwili. Lakini pesa azilikitwa kumujenga. Hakuna. Asante. Hakuna. Hata kuambia kuambia nini alitoka naye. Nothing. So mimi ninge, wakati nimesema nitapenda nichukue muda kidogo na wewe ni kwa sababu ningependa ujijue. Zaidi ya yote ujikubali. Ukishajijua ujikubali maana ukijikubali wale unaongoza kule kwa kaunti yako hautawanyang'anya hautawafanyia matendo ya dhuluma utakuwa wewe ni ra, ura, utakuwa na uraibu wa kuwasaidia wao sio kwa sababu uchukue sifa za Mwenyezi Mungu ala manake uwezi lakini kwamba Mungu amekuweka pale pakiwa na sababu so hiyo sababu itimize tunaelewana viongozi wetu utimize hiyo lengo Mwenyezi Mungu amekuweka hapo ufanye hiyo ingine mwache Mwenyezi Mungu wewe nenda zako Mungu atakuja tu atakukumbuka na wewe hiyo pesa yako kidogo mshahara boss hiyo mshahara yako kidogo maana mshahara ya huyu boss sio ni ndogo haizi fikia mshahara yako sure sure una hakika unaweza fikia mshahara ya sio pande hapana ni kwa hiyo sio let me be a bit serious ndugu Shaita shukuru. Shukuru unaweza kuwa na pesa ya mshahara mzuri kuliko sio? Bwana. Lakini uko na mshahara. Oh, very good. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Ikiwa uko nao shukuri hiyo ifanyishe kazi yake. And with the time, and with the time, nina hakika hiyo ofisi ya management na administration manake baada ya miezi sita tumeanza kuperform kuna kitu itakuja nyongeza. Sasa ile utaongezewa pia itakuja ikikupandisha ukisonga, ukisonga, ukisonga. <coughs> Kumbuka shirika letu tumepewa ruhusa tupewe policies. Kwa hivyo wewe na bibi yako na watoto wako ndio utasema ni watoto hawa, mama ni huyu. Eh, mimi ningependa basi kwa ajili ya hospitali, usimamizi wa hospitali ni huu na mambo mengine. Maana unajua sasa siku hizi pesa ikisha anza kuingia kwa mfuko homa inakuja macho moja inajifunga peke yake. <laughs> sasa inaanza kutafuta ile pesa tena ulipata. <laughs> sasa itakuwa ni itakuwa ni, ni balaa kama hauna hauna kava kwa sababu eh, kama kinywa venye amenyoa kipala eh, anaanza kumea pimples kwa kichwa eh, anaenda kwa daktari amuuliza na hii sasa na siku anga na hii hii imetoka wapi eh, daktari anamwambia consultation fee sijui nini nini dawa ya kupaka ya shindani po ya kufungwa <laughs> unajua unajua kuna wigi ya wanaume <laughs> Sasa mna kuna wigi ya wanaume. Wao ndaanza kuona kinywa ako na wigi kwa kichwa. <laughs> Lakini unamuza na umemea nywele kumbe unakuwa na nywele mzuri hivi. Yeye <laughs> atasema yeye ndio. Lakini ukweli sio ndio. Huko <laughs> kwa kichwa kuna vidonda. Mm. Na tayari zinashughulikiwa na nini? Na ile polisi amepewa. Sasa ziguzi mshahara yake. So nataka kusema hivi, umepewa na shirika fursa ya kupata nini? Polisi. Kwa hivyo wewe sio tu mfanyikazi kwa Skyward. Lakini maslahi maslahi yako yote wamejali wameiangalia ili kwamba uendelee kutia bora kumanufaika na kusonga. So shida yetu ni hivi utakuta wale wanaoshughulikiwa watakosea maanani hizo zote. Wao wenyewe waanze kwenda na njia nyingine kama kwa mfano. <coughs> Wapi ambao nimepewa kumfanya CEO? Siwezi sikia vibaya rohoni mwangu. Manake I only served as a CEO in Djibouti under Skyward Capital. Na nikitoka Djibouti, si kutoka Djibouti kwa sababu uh, nimetolewa. Uh -uh. Yule aliyepaswa achukue wadhifa huo alikuwa ameshapewa na amefika na, il, na il remember ilikuwa kitu kama saa 5 usiku. So ilikuwa ni kusalimiana na kumwambia karibu sana na fungua ndio hizi, hii ndio ofisi yako, gari yako ni hii na nimeshukuru. Na hiyo hiyo siku maana nilikuwa tayari faili zangu mimi naweka. Sasa hivi nikikutuma kwa ofisi yangu hapa, utakuta faili milioni moja zimejaa chini. Maana naanza kuweka kila kitu in order. Maana hivyo ndivyo nimefundishwa. Nimefundishwa from day one naanza sasa hapo. Nikiweka kila kitu na nipaswa kikazi kuenenda kulingana na wajibu wake. So mimi sikugoja tena. Nilimuuliza una jambo? Akaniambia pana. Nikamweleza shehena ile pesa itaguzwa ni hii. Shehena pesa imefanywa ni hii. Rekodi ya pesa na kule imefika ni hii. Bodi ni hawa. Sasa boss, mimi nimekupa mamlaka yako umepewa endelea na kazi. Mimi naondoka na kwenda airport na kutoka kurudi Marekani. Nipewe kazi nyingine. I did also work for Skyward Capital uh, in charge of Africa programs and project. My office was in Kumasi in Ghana. Yeah. You know Kumasi, that is in Ghana. Na nilisaw for nine years. Na siku toka hata siku moja kuna kuna kelele madharao sijui nini hakuna. Na nilitoka kule wa, hata waganao wenyewe wakalia. Maana nili ensure kwamba hiyo inchi ambayo ofisi ipo kila kitu imeenenda kulingana na wajibu na Afrika yenyewe katika zile programs and project nili implement kulingana na wajibu wa ofisi. Tunapatana. So nimetembea Leo hii ile mshahara anapata hata siyo akisema kimbizane na mimi. Jamani anakosea. Yeye yeah, atakuwa anakosea. Maana yake mimi niko na mshahara bwana. Hata hivi nazungumza naye nasikia furaha sana. Mimi siko kama ati nasikia uzuni, nasikia vizuri sana. Maana yake nina mshahara mpendwa. Nina nini? Mshahara. Mimi siko kwa ile ofisi nikitegea pesa zingie nifanye nini? Nipore. Ah. Niko salama. Nina hakika ta CEO wetu Mahali yuko leo maana anajisikia 
Haezi fanya hayo. Maana yake ana mshahara. Eh? Kwa hivyo ukiona sio hapa na V8 usianze kuongea matusi. Ila mshahara uko naye imetosha. Hata kienda kwa banki tu atoe pesi li, na aandikiwe na board. Hata kuna kitu banki itaongea inampatia V8. Maana yake unajua within within one year imeshafanya nini? Imeshajilipa. Maana kwa na hiyo pesa. Wewe nawe nataka kukutia nguvu kukwambia as our regional head director. Hakikisha sehemu yako ya kazi kazi ifanyike inavyopaswa. Wale wanahusishwa katika hiyo kazi wasikuwe na ugaidi, hisia mbaya na hata pia pengine mambo mengine asiyoweza kuelezeka hapa. Lakini kazi ifanywe kama na wewe ambaye kwamba umeajiri bibi yako. Hmm. ngoja tu. Ni wiki tu. Ni wiki tu. Atakuja simame kama post. <laughs> Hata ongei. Kusimama tu peke yake inajieleza. <laughs> What? What? Huyo atakupeleka ufike. Yeye ndiye atakuwa na mbio wengine unajua unajua mkubwa hapa ni nani? Nakwambia tumia akili yako. <laughs> Unajua na msimamia hapa ni nani? Ndugu yangu. Hebu ukaseme, nione kama nitafutwa. Wewe ndio utafutwa na utafutwa asubuhi na mapema nikiangalia na nikuzindikisha ukienda kwetu. Hivi nataka kusema, wewe kama uko na jamii hapa, wewe ambao umeajiriwa na uko na ukoo fulani na mtu fulani. Sasa hakikisha usiharibu uraibu wa ukoo wenu na jamii yenu kwa kufanya mabaya tunapatana. Maana yake nina hakika wewe uliopewa hiyo kazi, haukupewa hiyo kazi kwa shauri ufanye mabaya. Ulipewa hiyo kazi ili na wewe pia ujijenge, umanufaike uma na uwe pati ya hiyo kazi kuendelea. Tuko pamoja. Shuku. Tuko pamoja bosi. Eh. Umepewa ili wewe uhakikishe imefanyika. Lakini si ukwe bosi. Na kwanza kuambia wale wengine. <laughs> kwanza naogopa kipe eh, ki upako wa wadada manake hao ndio wanajua jinsi ya kuwa unajua ile cat and mouse eh? hata watu wakisema cat walking kilitokana na such kind of styles eh? mingi sana eh? hata wao dada machuina kwa pale hata huyu huyu babu asimama dada wa matapos usicheze na huyu anaweza tu mmoja tu hivi mpaka uchangae kama ni haya ndio atameanza Kile nataka kusema ni hivi viongozi wetu katika Skyward Capital. Tuhakikishe kwamba juhudi zetu zote za kazi zimetekelezeka kulingana na wajibu unaostahili na kufuatwa. Ili kwamba tuweze kumanufaika na kuenda vizuri. Kuna pesa zile ambazo tulifungisha ama nilifungisha kupitia koti Since last week on Friday we have been in the court ndio sababu nilitoka nikawaacha nikakimbia tena kwa wakili na Mungu akipenda by next week uh, nina hakika kwamba tutakuwa tumefunga hiyo file maana yake sio kesi kesi tulimaliza ni kufunga sasa file na nina hakika kwamba CEO atakuwa na pesa ya kutumia kwa Skyward Capital maana sio sio milioni ni bilioni yeah? na si moja Quite good billions ambazo kwamba tulizishika na tukafungia zisitumike vibaya ziingie kwa mikono inaopaswa na zihusishwe katika wa Kenya maisha ya wa Kenya si kwamba zi ati kuna wengine wanasema kazi kianza kufanyika wanaanza kuwekelea serikali mambo hata hakuna kama sasa kuna wengine walisema ati ni Ruto amekutana na CEO na president ndio ameanza ku hakuna <laughs> mahali Ruto amekujia ndio atakuwa katika our inauguration to launch Skyward Capital watakuja lakini si wao wamehusika katika yale mnaona yale mnaona tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu yanafanyika ne manake kwamba yanafanyika kwa wema na kwa uzuri kwa sababu yako na wale wengine 
na shukuru kwamba uh, matatizo za wakenya zimefanya wewe upate kazi hebu ambie wewe jirani yako <tos> maana ni matatizo za wakenya zimefanya wewe upate ajira haujapata ungepata upate wapi lakini sasa kwa ajili yao na lazima watumikiwe na mtu fulani ni lazima ndugu yangu wewe waitwa nani <tos> Lazima Ibrahim lazima wewe ungekuwa pale. Ndio hiyo kazi ifikie wale wengine. Kwa hivyo mimi napenda kusema nimesema kwamba tumegawa all the 47 counties na vile tumezigawa ni hivi. Zone A skit 1 imebeba Mombasa 001, Kwale 002, Kilifi 003, Tana River 004, Lamu 005. Uh, Taita Taveta 006 That is our first zone A Zone B Tumegawa Garisa 007 Wajia 008 Mandela 009 Masabit 010 Isiolo 011 uh, Skit C Tumegawa Meru 012 Taraka Nithi 013 Embu 014 hiyo ni skit C. Skit D tumegawa Kitui 015, Machako 016, Makueni 017. Uh, zone E tumegawa Nyandarua 018, na ambao kwamba ndio iliyopata nafasi ya kwanza kuwa katika piloting number 1. It was the first one to be picked to be the first one. Uh, then zero, uh, Nyeri 019 Kirinyaga 020 Muranga 021 Kiambu 022 Zone F Tukagawa Turukana 023 West Pokot 024 Samburu 025 Elgeo Marakwet 026 Zone G Tukagawa Transoia 027 Wasingishu 028 Nandi 029 Zone H tukagawa Baringo 030 Laikipia 031 Nakuru 032 Zone J tukagawa Narok 033 Kajiado 034 Kericho 035 Bomet 036 Kwa hivyo Mr. Uh, Conchera Zone J Narok 033 Ilipata nafasi Nyandaro wa 018 ndio inaongoza. Then from there zone K Kakamega 037, Vihiga 038, Pungoma 039, Busia 040. Then zone L CIA 041, Kisumu 042, Homabay 043, Migori 044. Zone M tukagawa Kisi 045, Nyamira 046. Uh, zone N ambayo ndio ya mwisho tukagawa Nairobi peke yake. Nairobi peke yake iko na regions uh, iko na regions that 157 regions out of 17 constituencies. Na ndio ilikuwa kwa ipewa nafasi ya kwanza lakini kwa sababu ya jambo moja na lingine ambao kwamba walihusika basi tukarudisha mkataba wa kufuata Nairobi iwe ya kwanza uh, through our boss Mr Abdul Kadir to be the last one so Nairobi ndio itakuwa ya mwisho but the rest tutaenda kabisa alafu Nairobi iwe ya mwisho na hivi sasa mahali tumefika nataka ile karatasi uliopewa uishike ndio nikueleze ni nini na sababu yake ni gani sasa ile karatasi tusome pamoja Skyworth Capital Group Welfare Association Kenya Chapter Kilimani HQ Today's Expectations Number 1 Meeting the head officials regional counties representatives top officials that is at our HQ in Nairobi expected officials are from the following counties Nyandarua Kiambu Garissa Narok Meru Machakos Kitui upper coastal region and lower coastal region i understand so far CEO, that uh, the upper coastal region is the only one that is here 
uh, the lower coastal region, it doesn't have its uh, representative yet until now. Meeting the officials for the reparation of our takeoff in piloting and managing the Skywalk Capital affairs. First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, are we ready for these affairs? Yes. Because there is no way that money, and even if the bank people have come today, that uh, it will become CEO's money, or either way declared to be management and administration affairs and money, without the people that uh, the management and administration actually makes a portfolio to flow in that assistance to the people. So minus you, then there is no county administration. So therefore the money should not leave at any given time in the accounts. But if then we are ready for the affairs, then I will declare that uh, we are in the right channel. And therefore I ask again see you while you are here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, representatives of our counties from uh, Nyandarwa, Kiambu, Garissa, Narok, Meru, Machakos, Kitui, Upper Coastal Region, and Lower Coastal Region. Are we ready for these affairs? Yes. yes. Social communication in regards to our advocacy, compliance to government authority. Remember that anything that we shall do, if you are not ready to hearken and to obey the law of the day, the governance of the government of the day, then definitely it is indefinite to you, not definite to you. Do you because the affairs of the so-called the day cannot be of any oblige to you. Simply because there must be that understanding uh, of our government authority and order being uh, highly taken seriously. Registration in, com uh, in competence to all our piloting uh, regional counties as per to our performance. We will have to ensure that this registration to which that we shall have to do and involve our people from those other various places where we have come from, definitely in regards to our performance, uh, it, which is an obligation, we must perform. If then we want this money, then we must be ready to obey and perform. Yes. Then on the same, mandates and regulations, rules must be followed to enhance institutional organization capacity, uh, capability at all times. <clears throat> of which that this is where the whole matter actually lies. As in mandates and rules, regulations must be followed to enhance institutional organization capability at all times. Of which that it is my prayer. We are not seated here this afternoon to lie to one another and to cheat our CEO that we are ready by showing ourselves by coming, <coughs> by spending the fare to come today so that it becomes a pass. Remember that the only person that will be entitled actually directly to the money is it's the CEO, management and administration. But on that, the mandate portfolio regards the reg uh, there is that regulation authority, which that also the government will follow it up, will pick it up with you from wherever you come from. That is Nyandarwa, Kiambu, Garissa, Naro, Meru, Machakos, Itui, Upper Coastal Region and Lower Coastal Region. Tunapatana? Yes. Hello? Hello. Yes. That is the order by the so-called authority of the state, which is the governance of the government of the day. That, yes, that money will come. The affairs of the institution shall be in regards to the needs of our people that we are here to represent. That is from those uh, piloting uh, counties, as I've mentioned. But then remember that when we talk of mandates, those mandates, they pick on you as the uh, you know, county regional head. They will not pick on any other person that is down there. They will start with you. Who will manage the affairs, the money, supplementary procedures, and all regulations and rules must be what? Followed. Yes. 
Ebu nataka muangalia ndugu zetu wa Garissa na wadada. Ni warembo kweli kweli hebu pindukeni bwana. Bwana kaka machuma angalia wana. <laughs> These people are very handsome. Kuna mtu hapa anajificha na karatasi. Hebu muambie huyo mtu atoe. Naomba kwamba kalini hawa. Kutonjo. Eh wako chonjo. Yeah, so <laughs> Ningependa kukumbuke hivi when we are told of mandates and regulations rules hapo hakuna mambo ya urembo na venye unafanana hapo mm. sasa ni kuenenda kulingana na vile unapaswa kufanya na wakati unao paswa si ufanye manake ati uko na order ya pesa ah hapana manake kauli ya pesa hautaifanya peke yako utaifanya na wasimamizi wako wa kutoka wapi kwa kaunti yako manake lazima uwahusishe haya wakati wa kufanya audit mnajua kwamba it is also in today's regulation board under the financing through the bank and uh, Kenya 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 mm -hmm, tunaita nini central bank that any institution ni lazima iwajibike kipesa ati kipesa kipesa watu waliona tu wanakuja ndi wasaishe wajione na pesa yao lakini wanasahau <laughs> gharama ya kutoka kwa ile account umetoka ni wewe utawajibishwa wewe kwa ndio umechukua wadhi kwa wakili hebu simama mzee he looks like a headmaster yes 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 Eh? He just looks like a headmaster. Eh? Wacha ni kuambia kiongozi wa Meru. Kutoka saa hii umekuja kuchukua nyaraka eh, na wadhifa lazima hesabu ya Meru utatoa. Si kwamba uta, utakaa usiku na mchana ukihesabu peke yako. Hapana. Ni jinsi hiyo pesa imefanya, kule imeingia. It is today's order. Na nyinyi ndio ni wakubwa huko. Jamani nataka ujue hivi. Si sio peke yake atawajibishwa na kamati yake na nani? Ah ah. Hata wewe. Maana hiyo pesa ikiingia huku anaituma wapi? Si mimi hapo siko huko kwenu. Yes. Ama muna hizi vitu. I think this people are not there. Hebu <coughs> kaa mkubwa. Hapana. Sio hapa. Hao watu wanajua wako na knowledge ya mimi hapa. Yes. Ama muna. Yes. Bwana ngene. Mimi hapo ni mimi. Hizo main hub mko nazo huko. Hizo pesa zitakuwa channel tu huko. Zikifika hakuna kusimama na kuendelea kusonga tu. Mpaka huko chini huko kwa wote. Maana mpaka sio ataonyesha serikali pesa imefanya nini na imefika wapi na ni ngapi zimebaki. Na hiyo ndio kitu ile ambao wengi wetu wa Wakenya hawapendi. Wengi wetu wa Wakenya hawatatangi kugaramika. Wengi wetu wa Wakenya hawataki mali anaulizo swali. Wanataka tu pesa naeka nini? Na anafanya nini? Anaenda. Lakini sasa serikali za leo ni sharti ueleze pesa imeenda wapi? Imefikia nani? Hesabu ya waliofikiwa ni ngapi? wasio kuwa wamefikiwa ni ya nani miradi ambayo imekuja katika kaunti zenu ambazo imekuja kuboresha ni gani na ni ipi tunapatana so those mandates and rules regulations must be followed to enhance institutional organization capability at all times the above institution excels management and structure obligation to enhance understanding in performance to deliver to all our people at all mimi ningekuwa wewe ningetoka tu saa hii niambia sio hivyo ndivyo kuko so what I mean mapema ndio best si hata mliifanya ni shenge mapema ndio best nifanye nini si faith uamke twende twende faith tuache hii kazi maana kama mapema ndio best sio maana hakuna haja ubaki pale Wakati wa kugaramika sasa kutoa hesabu na kuonyesha ulifanya nini hapo ndio unataka kutoroka hiyo siku ndio mashari ataanza kusema nimeshikwa na kifua kikuu kuu 
Eh, nasikia kiingereza ngereza na kiswahili swahili. Na kuja kwa ofisi maana naogopa asikuwa auditet. <laughs> na by the way, it is a policy today in Kenya. Hata sisi kama shirika we will be audited by the government. <laughs> Wewe, hebu ambie jirani yako. Hebu <laughs> sio unajua nitakupa bonus. <laughs> yeah, today's law, that's what it is says. Ladies and gentlemen, today's law, that's what exactly it is says. Kwa hivyo hapo kapati hebu naomba tanda hebu tusomeo part hebu mimi tusomeo inasema the the above institution excels ndio hiyo the naomba usimame tusomeo the above institution excels management and structure obligation to enhance understanding in performance to deliver to all our people at all times. Hapo ni pagumu. Kumbuka usiweke hali ya ufisadi, usiweke ile kimenyano, usiweke hawa ni wakwetu, hawa usijui kama mnanipata. Hapa yes. ni pagumu, hapa ni pagumu sana, hapa si pazuri sio. Hapa si pazuri hata kidogo. Hapa, hapa. Hiyo <laughs> ku excel management structure ni ngumu kidogo. Manake wewe ni mugiriama. Eh? Yule ambaye unakuta pale ni mkuria. Huyu mkuria naye anaenda na mkuta tena mtu mlendile. Mlendile naye anakuta uh, mtu msomali. Msomali naye anakuta uh, muluo. Muluo anakuta muluya. Muluya anakuta muka bwana hapa sio si pazuri. Wewe wewe uko hapa hapo angalia hapo hapo si pazuri. Manake unapoambiwa you excel that management and then you are guided by the structure to remain within lines of duty. Hapa ndio pana sumbuka na usumbufu mwingi hapo. Hatukiendelea inasema nini atanda ya pili. We hereby then request modalities in all understanding which entails regional compliance in a capacity building in adjudicating social profile in all our performance which regards regional counties performance in compliance to all involved parties such as follows. Sasa hapo ni pazuri. Wewe ambaye ni wetu mkubwa, hapo ni pazuri kweli? Usichoke, simama tena. Nataka tuende pamoja na wewe. We here by then endelea. We here by then request modalities in all understand. Simamia hapo. Modalities. Do you understand by the word modalities? Yes. Kwa hivyo wewe kama kiongozi haupaswi upitishe shauri peke yako. Ni kinyume cha sheria. It can never be a modality. It becomes modality maana zile viungo vya kazi ambazo ziko kwa structure zinahusishwa na wewe kwa kazi. Kwa hivyo usiseme mkubwa wa Meru mimi ndio mkubwa. Mondo morome. <laughs> mimi ndio nasema kisomali kusema mimi ndio nasema mtu anasemaje? Anaa. 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 <laughs> kidogo ni kumwe hiyo we usije ukafika hapo manake when it comes to excel structure in you know, audit utapatikana na misuse of office na mishandling of what should be done then troubles begins from there so kwa hivyo hapa hapo ambapo tunasomewa na atanda kwa modalities so that it becomes a modality Ensure that wale mnapaswa kukana wao mmefanya nini? Yeah. Endelea. In all understanding. Yeah. Unasikia unaongezewa na in all understanding. Kwa hivyo usianze kufanya rule and ah uh, mnajua usifanye rule and yeah. usifanye rule and divide. Manake wewe ndio mkubwa. Unaambia tumia hapa hapa akili yako wewe. Unajua mimi ni nani? <coughs> na una kikohozi, unapohoa tu kusumbua mdomo eh ndio <coughs> mtu tu akuone unabonda sura na kuweka eh tajua mimi nashukuru watu wakili vitu zaliwa na sisi <laughs> which entails regional compliance in capacity building in adjudicating social profile in all our and attacker for social profile when you are working for garissa boss do you know the governor of garissa Remember social compliance it entails even the local government authority. Kutakuja mtu ambaye ameteuliwa katika 
uh, kiwango fulani cha kuangalia programs and projects under that very line ya serikali ya ugatuzi pale chini ambao ndio hizo tunaita local government na atataka kujua unapohusika kikazi na watu wa Garissa township eh yeah. uh, ni la kidera la kidera mbala mbala dadab unafanya nini na hata pigani na wewe kwanza nakuuliza kiwa hebu kaa venye mtu anakaanga kama boss yeah. na amekuja kwa ofisi yako skyward imagine na amekaa vizuri tu very calmly mapatia mazuri ya kamia amekunywa na amesikia vizuri na akakwambia ni tamu sana lakini ni tamu maswali inafuata kwambia boss tunataka utupatie <coughs> compliance kit ya social profile ya hii shirika yenu na watu wetu wa Garissa <coughs> the question seems to be very calm and very friendly lakini matakwa ya hiyo swali inabeba performance in the ground inabeba response to the needs in the ground sijui kama tunapatana na wewe manake hivyo ndivyo sheria inavyosema wakati wa leo kwa hivyo na sio ki, wewe ni kinyume kumkataza kuja mkisikia anakuja usifunge kufuli nyimu umebaki ndani hiyo ni ki, mtastakiwa vile amekuja na hizo gari za blue unajua natumia ngani namba plate zao ziko na gari ziko na blue mkaribishe vizuri na kama unajua kuna mtu anastama sorry okay. ambapo kuanza kusema mbala mbala wewe usimweke front line manake unata, unafaa uweke mtu ambaye anaelewa hii kazi anajua vile mumefanya vile ambavyo mulianza mpaka hapo mumefika kwa hivyo ni mtu ndugu yangu ataongea Muhammad kama typewriter ta 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 ta, ta, ta. finish so hiyo swali nyingine atataka kukuliza social performance profile uh, itakuwa imekwishia hapo maana kitu ya kwanza amesikia vile ulianza venye mumefika muka approach watu mumeendelea mko na ofisi mnapanga hii na mnataka kutimiza hii hiyo maswali yake imefikia wapi manake tayari umemuonyesha mnajielewa na mnajua kazi yenu ni nini kwa ground tuko pamoja yes. endelea tanda umefika kwa adjudicating social profile social profile in all our performance which regards regional counties performance in compliance to all involved parties such as follows structures mama sasa tusome hii so structures we have the top 16 mnaelewa top 16 yes. then followed by waja kidogo boss waacha kwenda bio mnae join headmaster okay. <laughs> <laughs> nikamba acha kuniangalia ati ndio nianze na wewe siwezi na wewe nataka kwanza na huyu ndugu akitui hii ni kitui hii kitui na kuuliza the structure top 16 unaelewa ni kusamaji Unajua inaweza kuona top 16 mtu anaweza tafuta longi <laughs> eh, West in 16 Top 16 ni nini? Top 16 ni Hebu simama tu. Tuelezane hapa. Top 16 ni wale officials wenye wana lead count starting with the uh, women representative wa uh, regional director wakifuata na hiyo. Kwa hivyo unaielewa. Haya <laughs> tuendelee atanda. We have the top 44 Abu Simama boss. Narok. Ndango. Abu tu leza top 44 ni ipi? Hawa top 44. Ongea, ongea na hawa, 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 hawa ndio. Hawa top 44 ni executive wa katika club county. Ambaye wao ndio wana wanafuata eh wanafuata top 16 ndermoka kutoka top 16 unakuja top 44 ambaye ni offer side Asante Hea tanda top 23 regional main hub Hebu boss simama Hii main hub uh, ni gani in our regions Okay these are the people who normally undertake the activities of the sub counties or uh, the wards 
in another word, we say those who are the heads, maybe those who heads the constituencies. Under them, we have the walls, we have the, the what do we call it? the sub counties. I'm going to pick you my coffee. You don't go to the car. Sio hivyo maraki hata jani ambaye ni mwandishi. Hebu hata tandaenda kwa hiyo nyingine. Top 21 regional sub hub. Hebu ndugu yangu eh wewe. Yes you. Hebu simama. Nataka tusaidie tu tuelezane. The top 21 regional sub hub ni watu gani? What is their performance when it comes to our duty? The duty is um, first uh, the, the top 21 hub is the world order of center world order of center world representatives mm -hmm. the duty is to take the board activities amejaribu ni kweli hebu tumpigie makofi ile kitu amefanya ameanza kwanza kuimaji kwa nini umeniuliza mimi na hivyo hivyo ndivyo hao watu watakuja kwa hizo ofisi zenu tu maana atataka ku encounter do you know what exactly you are supposed to do and when you are supposed to do ya mwisho wa tanda we have the support net 298 hebu hebu dada yangu simama mrembo wetu wa garisa the subordinates 298 are those that will be helping those other top officials. Hi, Asante. Abu to Pata Mungina on Gaze Jambo. Abu, wait, Abu Sumama. How do you understand the subordinate 298? Okay, the subordinate 298, these are specifically on a world level. Purposely to make sure that all activities in the world are moving on smoothly. Asante, Abu Faith Pia Simama, Abu Tuelezo, Unelewaje subordinate 298. Any must you touch where catching? Must you touch Kinyo? How do you take the subordinate 298? The 298 subordinate, these are professions and they are office, they are working in the offices, like those who are guys who are working in everything as in finances, employment, auditing, and all things that are so professional. The 298, and they work in the sub uh, world levels. They work in the world level. So, and the layer tanda, the two man is the he. Institutional Organization Association sub counties regional performance and compliance to our structure, performance authority. Performance authority, management, service, order. Abu sumamia hapo. Nataka uisome. Manake kuna watu wajajua siyo ni nani. Ndiyo hii. Abu tusome. Najua hii yauna. So that... Mkumbuke mkubwa na kiongozi katika taifa letu la Kenya. Leo hii. Na napenda atanda uongeza volume ya juu. Usome what falls under the CEO. Who to who, where to who. So we have that departmental order. Order. Position designation where you have the CEO, Secretariat Secretary, Board of Director, Secretariat Chairman, Assistant Secretary Chairperson, Secretary Administrator, Assistant Secretary Administrator, the in house in charge director, um, Assistant in house in charge director. Management and Administration Head of Department Director, Assistant Management and Administration Head of Department Director, Supreme Board Council Committee, Credit Committee Council and Management in both Finance and Accounts, Head Director, Head Director, Assistant Credit Committee Council and Management in both Finance and Accounts, Head Director, Kenyan Chapter NEC Council Heads Operations, Sustainability and Economic Committee Council Head Operations, 
Internal Talk Committee Council, Board of Management Committee Council, Logistics and Procurement Head of Department Director, Assistant Logistic and Procurement Head of Department Director, Logistic and Procurement Department Manager, Head Finance Department Director, Assistant Head of Finance Department, Finance Department Head of Allocation in Finance Manager, Finance Department Accounting Supervisor, Head of Accounts and Finance, Routing Department Director, Assistant Head... Number 26. Can you read, read that, sir? Head of Accounts and Finance, Routing Department Director. Munaelewa hiyo ni kusemaji? Huyu ndiyo, siyo siyo ndi atakuwa anayenishua pesa imetoka from from the HQ to all those other counties. That's why it is routing. Huyu ndiyo kazi yake ni performance authority in routing the finances. Mahali zinatakikana. Kulingana na wajibu wa sheria ya shirika. Siyo nani? Hapa mtaku sama na nguvu hawa pigi. Siyo nani? Asante. Siyo wana fikiria wa ndi utaruti. <laughs> Assistant Head of Accounts and Finance Routing Department Director Account Na hapo kidogo Sumamia pale Hapa ninge penda tuwe na muislamu na mukristu Napatana Kwe na muislamu moja na nani? Mukristu Lakini akue ya mesomea Ako ameitimu katika mambo ya nini? Accounts Na finance uh -huh. Accounts and Finance Routing Allocation Manager, Account and Finance Routing Allocation Supervisor, Regional Accounts and Analysis Main Hub and Sub Hub Director. Sasa number 30, ni kufundisha kidogo. Vile Skyworth Capital ufanya kazi. Mahali mutashikiwa, muikamba. Unajua utashikwa na nani? Ebu nujia number 30. Regional Accounts and Analysis Main Hub and Sub Hub Director. Huyu jamaa, Ni mtu ambaye amepewa amesomea ame uh, mambo mambo na na pesa na mambo na uaskari ndani yake. Kwa hivyo huyu mtu <laughs> amefanya forest nick na mambo mengine. Kwa hivyo hata ukikuku vitabu na utengeneze uh, huyu jamaa atakupata tu. Namba 30 atakupata. Na huyu ndiye alitolea gedhome ushahidi kotini. Akaonyesha vile gedhome aliiba na akaleta Audi A7 alionunuliwa na kidhome atikama zawadi na pesa ya kunyang'anya shirika twendele <laughs> assistant regional accounts and analysis of main hub and sub hub director regional accounting and analysis of all hubs and sub hub supervisor women forum and capacity building director women forum and capacity building Assistant. Assistant Director. Women. Women Forum and Capacity Building. Actually, there are three. Regional Main Hub and Allocations of Cluster Funds Director. Assistant Regional. Number 36. Do you understand when it says Regional Main Hub and Allocations of Clusters Funds? All our people members are all classified in clusters. Napatana. So pesa zinahusisha members wetu. Hakuna vile ambavyo zitafanya kazi ya programs na project. Hakuna. Ni pesa zinahusisho nani? Members huko. Which are in the clusters. Um, assistant Regional Main Hub and Allocations of Cluster Funds Director. Regional Main Hub and Allocations of Cluster Funds Supervisor Regional Head Main Hub Director Assistant Regional Head Head Main Main Hub Director Regional Sub Hub Director Na hiu kumbuka wala nukua na uliza Zile miungo yetu ya kazi Ambao kuamba CEO Anaangalia katika nchienyu ya Kenya Ndizo hizo muna somewa sasa for those, tutaeka hapa board kubwa ambao kwa mba watu waleza kuja, usome, uangalie, ufanye lakini those are the, on, those are the positions 
Assistant Regional Sub-Hub Director, Regional Cluster Unit Managing Director, Assistant Regional Cluster Unit Managing Director, Assistant Unit Cluster Regional Director, Units Regional Supervisor, National and Regional DPC, Head of uh, Head of Recruit Recruitment. Head of Recruitment Managing Director, Assistant National and Regional DPC Head of Recruitment Managing Director, National and Regional DPC Head of Recruitment Managing Director, um, National and Regional DPC Head of, so those are, uh, I think, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, five. There are actually five officials. Six. Six. Huh? Supervise. All those ones, they fall under their HR. Mm -hmm. Number 54. Um, Human Resources Managing Director, National and Regional Inter-County Managing Director, Assistant National and Regional Inter-County Director, National and Regional Inter-County Manager, National and Regional Inter-County Supervisor, National and Regional Sustainability Managing Director, Assistant National and Regional Sustainability Managing Director. Abu Kidogo, Wanatanga. Uh, Manake, tunasema kuyeka wazi. From number 55, National and Regional Inter-County Managing Director, uh, Assistant National and Regional Inter-County Director, National and Regional Inter-County Manager, uh, National and Regional Inter-County Supervisor, National and Regional... S yeah, mbaka hapo. One, two, three, four. Kama umesha fanya statistics, na unajua kwa mba umefanya statistics, you can apply. Because you go under the HQ through the, uh, through the management and administration. Na it is true to tell you the fact. Kwa mba hao watu hatuja wapatia, hizo nafasi hatuja peano. Sawa sawa, heads of uh, our regional county bosses. Kama unajua mtu ambaya kwa amesoma vizuri, talk to the CEO and the HR eh? and the DPC uh, executive board. Endelea. National and Regional Sustainability Managing Director, Assistant National and Regional Sustainability Managing Director. One whom we would give the National and Regional Sustainability Managing Director is one who has done either commerce, finance, uh, finance and commerce, and then I'm a major in accounts. One might have maybe had seven to eight years experience or, or so with either uh, government or UN or maybe whatever, UA, UHCR or whatever. Carry on. National and Regional Sustainability Supervisor National and Regional Internal and External Security Director, Assistant National and Regional Inter Internal and External Security Director, National and Regional and Internal Internal and External Security Manager, National and Regional Internal and External Security Supervisor, National and Regional Internal Security Support Net. National and Regional Kenyan, Kenyan Chapter ICT Head Managing Director, Assistant National and Regional Kenyan Chapter ICT Head Managing Director, National and Regional Kenyan Chapter ICT Head Manager, National and Regional Kenyan Chapter ICT Supervisor, National and Regional ICT Data Protection and Hardware Installation Director, Assistant National and Regional ICT Data Data Protection and Hardware Installation Director. National and Regional ICT Data Protection and Hardware Installation Manager. National and Regional ICT Analysis System Management and Administration Director. Assistant National and Regional ICT Analysis System Management and Administration. National and Regional ICT Analysis System Management and Administration Manager, National and Regional ICT Analysis System Management and Administration Supervisor, 
National and Regional ICT in Finance and Accounts Management Director, Assistant National and Regional ICT in Finance and Accounts Management, Direct, Management Director, National and Regional ICT in Finance and Accounts Management Manager, National and Regional ICT in Finance and Accounts Management Supervisor, <laughs> National and Regional Staff Employee DPC in ICT Hardware Control Coding Analysis and Protection Director, Assistant National and Regional Staff Employee DPC in ICT Hardware Control Coding Analysis and Protection Director, National and Regional Staff Employee DPC in ICT Hardware Control Analysis and Protection Manager. National and Regional Staff Employee DPC in ICT Hardware Control Analysis and Protection Supervisor. County Regional Executive Board of Manager and Administrative. Management and Administration ICT Analysis and Data Protection in System Planning and Programs. So, in addition to performance authority, where we have management service order, this combines in house management and administration. Departmental, departmental, departmentally, unit clusters, department, and the designation, which comprise the following order: administration and his depart, uh, departmental order and position, which also comprise the following: the administration skit of our in-house in charge under the management and administration of our CEO. Kenyan chapter. So the in-house administration departmental heads at HQ. Unit clusters department. We have supervisory managing director, assistant supervisory managing director, manager, supervisor. That is under unit clusters department. Number two, under sustainability projection manifest department and procurement we have managing director assistant managing director manager supervisor number three under finance and accounts valuation in checks and balance we have managing operation director assistant managing operations director manager and supervisor Number four, under institutional, social, communities, and societies, programs, and projects, evaluation, and planning, audit department, we have managing director, assistant managing director, manager, and supervisor. Number five, under credit and finance in accounts, audit department, we have managing director, assistant managing director, manager, and supervisor. Number six, under internal security evaluation and legal portfolio department, manager director, managing director, assistant managing director, manager and supervisor. Number seven, under finance and accounts in programs and projects evaluation credit unit cluster, director, assistant director, manager and supervisor. Number eight, cluster unit regional supplies and logistics. We have director, assistant director, manager, and supervisor. <clears throat> Number nine, social community and society development committee council. We have oversight personnel, assistant oversight personnel, manager, and supervisor. Number ten, sustainability unit cluster support. We have managing director, assistant managing director, manager, and supervisor. Number 11, we have building and housing settlement circle, where we have director, assistant director, manager, and supervisor. Number 12, national secretariat board committee council, we have director, assistant director, manager, and supervisor.
number 13 under National Regional Board Committee Council, Director, Assistant Director, Manager and Supervisor. Under number 14, National Women Forum Development Committee Council, we have Director, Assistant Director, Manager and Supervisor. Under Social Community and Society Development Committee Council, we have Director, Assistant Director, Manager and Supervisor. Under National Internal Committee Board Council. Number 15, Fatma. Can you stand? Fatma heads number 15. Can you reread number 15? Social Community and Society Development Committee Council. That's where we have Director, Assistant Director, Manager and Supervisor. Thank you. We have number 16, National Internal Committee Board Council. Director, Assistant Director, Manager and Supervisor. Number 17, Security Deployment in Charge. Director, Assistant Director, Manager and Supervisor. Sustainability Unit Cluster Support. We have Managing Director, Assistant Managing Director, Manager and Supervisor. Finance and Accounts Evaluations in Checks and Balances. Director, Assistant Director, Manager and Supervisor. Sustainability Unit Cluster Support and Cooperative Capacity Building. Managing Director, Assistant Managing Director, Manager and Supervisor. The Agro Farmers and Feeds Cooperative Circle. We have Director, Assistant Director, Manager and Supervisor. National Internal Committee Council. We have Director, Assistant Director, Manager and Supervisor. National Council Board of Trustees. We have Director, Assistant Director, Manager and Supervisor. National Integration of Schools Across Inter-Counties in Social Development. Managing Director, Assistant Managing Director, Manager and Supervisor. The Sustainability Unit Cluster Support and Cooperative Capacity Building Director. We have Director, Assistant Director, Manager and Supervisor. National Intervention in Programs and Projects Evaluation. Director, Assistant Director, Manager and Supervisor. Agro Farmers Unit Cluster Capacity Building. Director, Assistant Director, Manager and Supervisor. Revol Revolving Funds Cooperative and Circle Educational and training. We have director, assistant director, manager and supervisor. Paramedic and clinical nutritionist unit support. We have director, assistant director, manager and supervisor. That is all. Uh, it has got uh, 116 officials. Wale ambao kwamba ni lazima report kwake, ni lazima wa perform, ni lazima ensure kwamba mambo yanafanyika yanavyopaswa kufanywa. So, napenda muelewe kwamba siku ya kesho ambao tunaamkia hapa. Kesho is a D-day. Tomorrow we shall have top officials from government authority under the cooperatives. Mwanzo mkumbuke hivi. Kuna pesa nimewaambia nilifungisha na hiyo pesa tunataka irudi. Ni lazima tuweze kujua wale tutakao waeka kama interim service heads officials. Alafu baada ya wakati fulani watatoka wengine wafanye nini? Waingie. Maana huu ndio ukweli ulikosa kwa watu waliokuwa kwa Skyward pale mbele. Walikalia viti ni kama wamekalia kiti milele daima. Hakutaka kupatia nafasi mwingine. Hakutaka kusikia kwamba Unaweza kuwa nafasi ya mtu mwingine akuja akakuwa kitu fulani. Na ndio sababu yake kwamba hata walidanganywa, pesa walinyanganywa, mambo mengi yalienda morama. This time round, we want to believe that we shall not have those kind of people again. It imenigarimu sana kama your national chair and uh, African representative president imenigarimu sana si mchezo. Imenigarimu imetugarimu pesa, imetugarimu wakati, imetugarimu na mawakili imetugarimu kufikia haki kupatikana yenu haijakuwa ni rahisi so ninapenda kuomba hivi sio 
Sitapenda. Hebu naomba sio yetu asimame. Sitapenda. Sikiza ndugu yangu dada. Sitapenda pendekezo lolote la kuweka shauri la kuleta intervention ya serikali kwa sababu pesa za wananchi ama za umma zinatumika vibaya katika skywa. I hope I'm talking to somebody here. Yes. Mimi sitapenda kabisa na maanisha. Na mjue ndio kwamba hatuna siri ya huko. The last time the name they used was reformant under Skyward. This time round, CEO had three names. Abu CEO was Ome. Hayo majina matatu yalipendekezwa na board of directors. Na CEO akaulizwa kama chairman. Mnajua kuna kitu sijawafundisha. Kwa nini we have a charter and a chapter? Kenyan charter imebeba all the 47 counties. counties. Kenyan chapter imebeba secretariat administration ya nani? CEO. Ya CEO. Kwa hivyo hakuna mbili ni moja. Mkisikia ati kuna secretariat ya Skyworth Capital imeanguka Garissa na mnawajua na sio wale mnajua. Mara moja you are supposed to blow the whistle. Kwa sababu CEO is the chairman of the Kenyan chapter administration of the secretariat. And then he heads the Kenyan as a land in supplementing in all the 47 okay. counties. So kuna majina alipewa hebu awasome na aseme yeye kama chairman wetu alipendekeza jina gani official cooperative names such one the union skyward capital reunion huh. number 2 resilient sky skyward capital resilient ndio namba 2 number 3 passion skyward capital number 3 was passion Aya, see you and be what you are called in a gun. As you are asked by the board. Come and see you in the Chagua Union Skyward Capital. Bengal and Mulisa, see you and Juanina Chagua Union. See you, we are not turning against you. You are our boss. Abu, no, but he became a boss. Ibuana, Abu, watch up on the edge. Ibuana, who knows about Mulisa? Ibuana, who knows about Mulisa? Man, he was being put down by the board of directors, and he had to come up with one name. At Wales. Why did you arrive to you to that union? Okay, I have arrived to this name because we are all Kenyans coming to bring up the United as a family, and you know the past history of this organization. We have lots of problems. But now that you're united, you're interfered, I believe you can go forward and do your mission. That is nice. Asante CEO. So kwevo viongozi, our board of directors wa mesha pitisha, today I have signed Buwana John in the account department ni mushahidi. Kwa mba I went there, ni kapelo kwa mba kwa commissioner's office huko nyao house, ni me sign. Imepelea kwa mba ka ineto nini? NHSF. NSSF. Na sasa imepita. The next thing that will happen in 21 days, it is now the release of our funds that tulifungisha zisitumike Kenya. Pasipo kuwa na usumamizi bora. Huo usumamizi, siyo siyo peke yake, ni wewe na siyo. Halo? Ni wewe? Sugeo kia kwa uwe mwenzako, hiyo makuweka ugonjwa. Nataka wabio mwenzako, ni wewe. So kesho, we have a D-Day where? Hapa. Wale viongozi tulikuambia uwalete kutoka kwa kaunti yako. Ningependa bitu sasimame asome haya majina mseme kama muna yajua ama hamu yajui. Rusoma kwa nguvu, haraka haraka. James Kamira, Yunis Kawela, Humphrey Ondego Monekane, Muigai Kangau, Joseph Waweru, Cynthia Akinyi, Israel Sande, Taro Maina. Steven Njenga, Laban Maina Kanja, Caroline Wanja Kuria, Jane Mumbi Madenge, Samuel Mboro Motora, John Kamene Karioki, 
David Kiruga Kibunja. Abunga ya kidogo. Anaposoma hii ndugu zangu kutoka Garissa na zile sehemu zingine. The CEO is supposed to initiate your names here. Si huko kando kando. Hello? Yes. Tunasikiza watu wetu wa Garissa? Yes. Sio huko kando kando. Akiwa amekaa wapi? Ya chapishu ya, ya changanywa na hii. Na ukumbuke hii ni country, I mean ni nine counties. Hii. It is from nine counties. So majina ya Garissa, he was to initiate them from where? Yeah. Yeah. Selamu makuja. Hapo mm. tunakojea majina. Endelea. Martin Koi Mwangi, Henry Getonga Wanyoike, Ibrahim Abdala, Abaroba Godana, Daniel Mule, Naomi Subo Woche, Rufo Guyo, Hussein Mohamed Adam, Alex Mwanzia. Kama kuna jina utasikia hapa yuhusishi watu wapo, jamani usifanye ipitisho manake it will pass as a law. <laughs> and that is tomorrow. <laughs> Crispin Wanjohi, Jafet Kiyoko Kawewa, Stephen Musioka Mutuko, Tabitha Ndongwa, the, uh, the Kela, Agnes Kamene Musili, Christine Mwende Kimani, Samuel Mutava, Jafet Ibuli Mulumo, Julius Kimuli Sami, Alice Muove, Purity Kaki Mwinzi, Joseph Muse, Anandruko Mbia, Malobe David Faith Kada Kirimi. Obed Getonga Murumia, George Patrick Idara, Ahmed Mohamed Mohamud, Samson T. Kinduru, Sami Mohambi Karioki, David Muchai, Muchai Karioki, Judy Kanai Rio, Muiricha, Mary Kaigera, Patricia Mukami, Simeon Makoi Mwakoi Mkongo, Alice Kabibi Charo, Modekai Mwanyolo Mwabingu, Valari Walowe Mwashoni, Abbas Nasibu Admani, Mohamed Idi Maro. Harusi Mumbo Abdala, Lizi Dele Mwakenge, Mwakenga, Sali Mwagama, Machila, Mwarome Nyele, Chishenga, Jones Mwangemi, Fatuma Mohamed Banu, Abdulaziz Isaac Mohamed, Maimuna Abdulo Sora, Hussein Shehe Mwishe, Esha Mohamed Kibwana, Johnson Kahindi, Ali Kenya Ali, Frimina Umazi Fati, Siad Bombo Musa, Judith Nashipai Sayalel, Masi Rotich Tembul, David Kipruto Simboli, Isaac Shemur Kirui, George Odiambo Okumu, Moses Ketu, 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 Ketu Yoi, uh, Bashamai, Nelly Chalangat Keriako, Koisi Kir, Kaswe William, Kipo, Kipo H, Philip Mosok, Daniel Lekimai, Lekimai, Peter Ngere Kamau, Hussein Dababa So, da, uh, da Baso Galgalo, Peter Kamau Mwangi, Masi Karemi Mbobo, Bruce Yasin Hussein, Grace Wanjiro Wairu, Waruiro, Samuel Getaun Rogno, Ruth Modoni Kiara, Peter Chege Karanja, Bernard Kamau Kinyanjui, Ismail Ahmed Osman, Shukri Abdul Jele, Mohamed Hassan Abdi, Abdi. Ebu watu wa Garissa, nataka utuambie, manake, ebu nataka mushike nyote hivi. There will be no change of this unless it is we do by the application through the court. <laughs> Tunapatana kwa ajili ya ufisadi ule umekuwa Kenya eh? So usimamizi inapofika ni cooperative management and administration to fund amongst our people that are there. Ni lazima zile county ambazo ndizo zile tisa zinaingia kwa piloting ziwe zimepeana their representatives manake hao ndio watahead hiyo ndio wajibu wa sheria tumekubaliana yeah. so watu wa garisa nataka usikize hiyo jina utuambie kama ni ya kwenu kama si ya kwenu bas Ismail Ahmed Osman Shukri Abdul Jele no Shukri Abdul Bula uh -huh. Shukri Abdul Bula 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 
Abdullah Bule. A B D U W L. Bule. Bule. P U W L E. Mohamed Hassan Abdi Abdiraham Mohamed Idris Shides Mohamed Mohamed Rashid Osman Ibrahim Mohamud Mohamed Mohamud will correct you Rashid Osman Ibrahim Hafida Ali Abdi Abdi Kwada Hussein Abdi 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 Kwada Kadar Abdi Kadar Kadar Abdi Kadar Kadar Abdi Kadar Kadar Hussein Abdi Mohamed Spelling Mohamed Sambul Hassan Samira Adan Bile Ok So sile majina ambazo Wewe ambayo na represent The county that is here up there Between the piloting ones Kama kuna jina umesikia siyo sawa Usikubali iende Kwa commissioner Mana kete enda kesho Tunapatana So kama kuna jambo lolote na shida na majina Ambazo mulipeana Naomba you correctify today Manake kesho akuta kuwa saya kukorectify Sanane Mkutano na the officials with the Commissioner hapa Itakuwa sasa ni kuingia katika majukumu Na katika kuhitekeleza Tunapatana Kwa hivyo tafadhali Naomba kuamba haya majina ni yale mumepeana Si yale siyo Ama siyo njolibuni na kichwa Sero So ninyini tu mumepeana hayo majina Kwa hivyo tunawamba kuamba Muyaende dhulu Kama utakuta kuamba kuna tatizo Tafadhali irekebisho leo Kwa hivyo ningeomba Itafanyo hivyo mara moja Basi kwa mkutano yetu wa leo ndi watu wa jiandaye Kwa jia wadu wa tutakuwa rafanya futari Na hata pia dua Na hata kurekebisha hii Tataka kuwa patezo na fasi Ili kuamba uangali from this list Ili itengenezo Asante Thank you.